Hi guys, my name is Nicole Hamming and I am from Armstrong, British Columbia and I am going to be making um, my own variation of pinwheels. Um, I'm just calling them Nicole's pinwheels and they're a great appetizer to have if you have friends over for dinner and you, and you want to have a small snack beforehand. Okay, so for the recipe for Nicole's pinwheels, you need an 8 ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese, 2 tablespoons of mayonnaise, a 4 ounce can of diced green chilies that has been drained, half of a large tomato that's been diced, a quarter cup of white onions that has been chopped finely, half of a cup of cheddar cheese, a quarter cup of green onion, one minced clove of garlic, half of a cup of red pepper that's been diced, and eight flour tortilla shells. Okay, so the first step is to blend the cream cheese and the mayonnaise in a large bowl. After you finish um, blending the uh, cream cheese and the mayonnaise together, you stir in all of the remaining ingredients. Okay, after you've finished mixing everything together, you need to take one tortilla shell and just a heaping scoop of the mixture and put it on the tortilla shell and spread it evenly. Try to leave about um, a one inch space around all of the edges of it because otherwise when you roll it, it'll all spill out of the edges. And when you're done spreading it, take the tortilla shell and you roll it as tightly as you can without squeezing out any of the inside. And once it's rolled up, trim the edges. And place it on a plate and do that with all eight of them. After you're finished wrapping and stuffing all of your tortillas, you just have to place them in the freezer for 10 minutes. Just until they're firm to cut. As soon as your pinwheels have finished chilling in the freezer, simply set your oven to the broil setting. And while you're waiting for that, line a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. After the pinwheels are finished chilling, take them out of the freezer and take one roll and cut it into about one and a half inch wide sections. Um, make sure not to push down when you're cutting or you will squish out all of the inside. So simply cut back and forth. You can probably get about four or five out of each um, roll. Once you've cut them, place them on a cookie sheet facing up. And do this for each roll that you have. After you've finished slicing all of the pinwheels and place them on the cookie sheet, bring them over to the oven and place them inside. just until they're golden brown. Now that the pinwheels are golden brown on top, I'm going to take them out of the oven. They smell awesome, by the way. As you can see, they're golden brown on top. And they're sizzling with 
satisfyingly. Anyways, so those are our pinwheels and I'm just going to place them on a tray in an attractive manner. Alright, this is the finished product and it is super, super good. Um, I'd highly suggest throwing a dinner party with some friends and using these as appetizers because they're not super filling and they're nutritious and very, very good.